Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article from Business Wire. This is an older article. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. So we're now in the in the holiday quarter, right? Q4. We're we're really heading into that holiday season, and we're now in November. December is going to be here just as quick, and then it's the new year, and then we're heading uh, closer to the uh, T-Mobile and U.S. Cellular. A deal closing, right? Or at least it's expected to close uh, around mid-year next year. They're trying to get it done earlier than that. Um, it just depends on how quickly uh, the FCC reviews this deal. I don't expect the DOJ to have any issues with this deal, so I don't respect. I mean, I don't expect um, the DOJ to require any uh, second letters or anything like that. Um, I think the FCC will be the ones to uh, thoroughly review, and I think they will have some concessions. Um, at least that's that's what some of the people are telling me uh, behind the scenes. They fully expect and anticipate T-Mobile to, to get some concessions on this deal. What that is, who knows, but this is more than likely not going to go through as is. They will get some, some concessions, and I believe uh, US Cellular and T-Mobile fully expect at least one or two concessions. Nothing... Nothing too crazy, but but something is expected in 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 the form of uh, concessions, just like with the Sprint deal. And I don't know if it's you know it might be keeping U.S. Cellular uh, customers on their plan for another two years. Um, whatever it is, there will be some concessions. Um, but this is a huge opportunity for T-Mobile. This is uh, this is the part where T-Mobile is able to grow its coverage. And really Im have an impact on what they label small market rural areas. I know there's some people out there are saying there's still some confusion about that. I've seen T-Mobile deploy a cell site with N41 on it in a town with like 500 people. I've seen it. So, yes, they haven't gotten to all areas yet and they probably won't even after this deal. It's going to take time, right? It's going to take time. They have to do it strategically and smartly. They're not just going to all of a sudden change their strategy. They're following an a, they fo they're following an AI model. Now on the networking side, they're putting AI into the RAN. They are going to work it according to their plan, and, and it's working. They have a they have a low churn, right? I think they came in at zero point eight six. They used to have two percent, so it's definitely uh, a. Uh, it's definitely better. So whatever they're doing, it's working. It's clearly working. I mean, it's 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 in the numbers. They're posting an 18, uh, 19 billion dollar free cash flow uh, by twenty twenty seven. They're they're heading to twelve million free uh, FWA customers by twenty twenty eight. The plan is working. So they're not going to fix what's not broken. They're not going to change their strategy all of a sudden. So they're going to follow their playbook. U.S. Cellular is clearly in that playbook. Once this closes, huge opportunity to convert uh, to convert sites to T-Mobile. Um, huge opportunity to further grow and scale. Right, a lot of these. I think I saw somewhere that eighty percent of the sites that T-Mobile is getting from US Cellular are one hundred and fifty plus feet. So very tall. Six. You add six hundred megahertz onto those, blast it. It's going to give you much broader range that, than you previously would have not had. Yes, they will have to add more sites probably in between that. But for now, it's better coverage and it should help lower their churn even more. So the rest of this year is going to fly by. It, it, this year went by quick anyway. And then we'll be in 2025. And then this deal uh, moving closer to closing is, is a reality. So let me know your thoughts on the deal. Let me know if, uh, if you think this is a huge opportunity for T-Mobile. Um, I still... I stated this back even before the deal was announced. T-Mobile they can clearly they can clearly build out across US Cellular's footprint, and that that's what US Cellular is scared of. And it would just take more time. So this deal clearly speeds up that process. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.